recording. Hi, do you, do you remember her name? So she is the opera impressionist. And we're yeah. the truth her. Brett Douglas so, Stephen Platinum. So you're uh, adding impressionist to people you hate? Oh, I yeah, I hate them. But I, I mean, because I grew up with the best, right? Rich Little had quite the arsenal of people he impersonated. And he made a really good living impersonating those people. I have hated the impressionists that have been on this show up to now. Because they don't sound like who they're supposed to sound like. But more than that. What? The rapper that we got crapped on because he didn't sound like Because we were right and he was garbage? Yeah. Right. But she not only sounds like she's supposed to sound, she understands that impressionistic activities are not just about being like photorealistic, if that makes sense. It's not about just being perfectly a perfect imitation because invariably it can't be perfect because you're putting the, your voice in scenarios that they would never be in, right? Mm -hmm. So the joke is, can you invoke the idea of what you're supposed to be impersonating, but find a clever way to infuse part of their spirit or what we think makes them them into the activity that you're doing? So it's it's one thing to be able to impersonate Celine Dion's voice. We've heard that before. Ariana Grande does a killer yeah. Celine Dion, killer, right? Killer. But but what makes the Ariana Grande Celine Dion better than the other people who do Celine Dion is because she puts in the Celine Dion isms into the singing, right? She's like, come on, come on, come on, don't you want to, don't you want to sing with me? Like well, whatever. Yeah. Like, and, and that's the part that makes you laugh. It's not just the amazing part. It's, 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 it's comedy. So it's got to be funny and it's got to blow you away. And I think she successfully did both. Again, I call into question the random element. Uh, I don't buy it for a second. I don't think Heidi is a smart enough performer Can that she would go like, oh, we need to close with theory. I think that there's something. You that, said it. But that's incidental. Um, she invokes the spirit of whom she sings. And interestingly enough, I thought Ariana Grande was the least interesting of all of them because she, right. she didn't know where to take it. Absolutely right. You're She didn't know where to take it. It's not that she didn't sound like Ariana Grande. It's just she didn't know where to take it. I know where I would have taken it, which is Ariana Grande names everything after some kind of porn thing. So okay. I would have definitely got breathier and sexier with it. Yes. Yeah. But beyond that, uh, I also thought she was smart to throw in her grandmother. We don't know her grandmother, no. of course. So we can't check the validity of the impression, but that's not the point. The point is that we get to know her through her eyes perceiving her grandma. That like, we get to see what she loves about her grandma and also what, you know, what she might grow up to be. Um, I thought that that was very clever and it was a nice way to break up the impressions. And of course, closing with Siri is hysterical. It, the fact that she sounds just like Siri and she had the sound effect ready to go is amazing. But the fact that she did the little buffering trill thing that happens with those kind of at home yeah. with the Alexas, and brrr, that thing, I just went, Bam. that, that drew me in even further. Like, she gets me. It makes me think that I'm part of this act because it makes me feel smart for understanding the reference. And that's, you can't go wrong making your audience feel like they're being entertained, that they're made to laugh, that they're made to be amazed, and then they're validated even further with what they know. And we yeah. pretty much put everything out there, but I'm gonna put this out there. Okay. We, we don't know anything about her yet and that, is something where she can build on, where we get to meet her next time, fall in love with her in a personal way, as we've already Ooh. fallen in love with her act. Uh, but she didn't really, there wasn't really that big of an introduction for her. 
Right. You know, it was here she is and here she goes. Uh, but I loved the cube and I, I thought it was an amazing act. And it's something that I'm really, really, really excited to see her second, I, I don't call it audition, performance. I think we're going into the last, we're going into the sixth and last week of auditions on Tuesday, Stephen. Okay. Um, so, um, uh, you know, we thought that uh, that we were going to see a lot of crap, uh, but uh, it was. I'm well, here's the thing, Brett. When when we're watching off of the YouTube videos, you're not going to get as much crap as you may get on the television show itself. You're right. So I think we should challenge ourselves to record the next show and watch the acts as they appear in order, because a I lot of what we do isn't just commenting on the judges commenting on the acts but the overall impression that the show gives. And I think that that's really valuable stuff. From the first act, what did they start with? We talk about, did they start yeah. with the band to what they closed with? And with the golden buzzer coat. Um, so yeah, I absolutely agree. Uh, so we'll be doing that Tuesday and um, awesome. And uh, Tuesday we'll also be do we'll get a pre-show in real fast. Uh, not real fast, uh, just you know, we'll get in a free show. Okay. Um, but uh, great day. Great day. Um, and uh, we would love to hear from this impressionist. We know that you have uh, probably one more act before you're live. And I definitely see you going uh, through to the, uh, to the live shows. Yeah. You agree it's with that? definitely a possibility. I love the act. Well, I loved a lot of things tonight. It was very fun. Uh, so I'm Brett Douglas. I'm Stephen Platinum, who liked less stuff than Brett, but we'll see if that flip-flops and changes or if we can come to more of a consensus on the next one. And with a truth hurts.